on you. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Victoria Shlomo, and I'm very excited to be here today to show my appreciation to my donors, to IMPACT and FIDF. My life was pretty normal until I was 12. I was the second child of three, living in a small town near Jerusalem, nothing out of the ordinary. But three weeks after my bat mitzvah, everything changed. My father was arrested and later sent to prison for 16 years. There were no warning signs at all, but my world collapsed. But that was not all. My father left us with large debts, and my mother had to work day and night to keep our house and everything else we needed to live. She tried to keep our lives as normal as possible despite this glaring difference. The struggles made us all stronger and more independent. Around the time I finished high school, my mother started a new relationship, and she and her new partner soon decided to live together. Unfortunately, I wasn't so comfortable with these changes and ultimately didn't feel welcome in their home. I therefore moved out to a kibbutz called Horshim and worked there in, kindergarten as a, in the kindergarten as a babysitter and as a housekeeper to have enough money to live on my own. At the age of 18, I was recruited to the army as a lookout on the Gaza border and started this journey with great expectations. The training was very intense and I started my assignment with great expectations. I became aware of how great of a great of a responsibility I bore on my shoulders. I sat behind a screen, closely scanning the borders, monitoring potential threats, and alerting the soldiers in the field of any hostile activity. I was often the eyes of the soldiers on the field, and that was a heavy responsibility. Only on my second shift, late at night, I was looking for anything out of the ordinary in a black and white camera, when I noticed two figures crawling on the ground. We quickly realized that these were terrorists crawling towards our soldiers, and we alerted them immediately. My alerts helped, provide, helped avoid an ambush. Our soldiers moved in, but the terrorists detected their movement and began to shoot and run towards the border. They were not caught and disappeared over the border, but all that mattered at that point was that these two soldiers were safe. After a year, I became a commander and was in charge of leading 15 young women. Since I could not work while I was in the IDF, I received financial assistance. I was given a, given a room in an apartment with three other soldiers who, like me, didn't have any connection with their families in Jerusalem. I received help with groceries and special permit to work on vacation, all thanks to FIDF. At the end of my army service, I knew I had to find a good job so that I could afford the tuition for university. But it was difficult to find. While all of my friends traveled around the world on the traditional post army getaways, I was working two jobs and struggling to figure out how I was going to keep providing myself while also studying. But then I heard about impact, and it changed everything. I was able to start my degree much sooner, and I was able to do so at one of the best universities in Israel, the Hebrew University in Jerusalem. For the last three years, I have studied hard and completed a bachelor's degree in international relations. I don't know how to explain the magnitude of this gift. I simply couldn't have afforded to attend school without it. And on top of that, through FIDF and IMPACT program, I volunteered for three years in a youth center where young men and women come together to help community. We painted public spaces in underprivileged neighborhoods patrol the city at night to prevent violence between teenagers and open a late night hangout area for teenagers in need of a big brother or sister. Impact has had an impact on more than just my life and the lives of my fellow recipients. It gives us an opportunity to make an impact on others. With Impact, I got to keep living the values I learned in the Israeli Defense Forces and be involved in shaping the future of our country. I once more want to thank you, the people sitting here, for your support of 
the amazing FIDFM organization that made this all possible. I want to especially thank my own donors, dear Mr. and Mrs. Hudson. Can you please join me on stage? I would like to promise you, to promise you all, and especially you, Mr. and Mrs. Hudson, that what you gave to me is so much more than a degree. The confidence you gave me when you decided to support me has changed my life. For the last three years, I did everything I could to make you proud, to be a better person, and to prove to you that I was worth this generous and much needed gift. I did everything I could so as not to let you down. And I promise I will keep living my life as a helpful member of society, hoping that I will have the same impact on others. Please accept this small gift. So much. Well done. So much. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. No. <laughs> we can't thank you enough. Thank you. I want to thank her, <laughs> not us. I'm not the only one that wants to thank you, General Gershon. <laughs>